Hello and welcome. You're watching Tech24. I'm Julia Seeger. We make about 35,000 decisions per day, all of which are made manually. But now imagine if you could get the help of an artificially intelligent version of yourself. Look no further, it's now possible thanks to the sidekick. The question is, how much of your daily decision making are you ready to outsource? And in Test24, as the most famous YouTubers here in France get together in a video calling to halt global warming, we take a look at some low energy and green lighting solutions. But first, we head to Cameroon, where an inspirational teacher is helping create the next generation of coders. Scientist Janet Fofan hopes to inspire young Cameroonians, and especially girls, to work in the science and tech industry. This, as many children there, are forced to drop out of education early. Ellen Gainsford has the story. 15-year-old Xaviera Nguefo and her team look on proudly as they test out their robots. In a country where one in four girls don't learn to read, these students are learning the basics of artificial intelligence. Other people inspired me with their stories, with what they, do, with what they did, and uh, I, I want to empower myself as well. And also, I aspire to inspire other girls to take part in such activities. She's one of around 20 young Cameroonians studying at the Next Gen Center in Yaoundé. The teenagers learn to write code, make robots, and acquire advanced computer skills. The organization is the brainchild of Janet Fofang, a pioneering scientist and teacher who hopes to train the future tech innovators in her country. If there's any young girl that has exceptional ability and is extraordinary, it's all about helping them get to where they want to go to. We do not want to find situations where people are not achieving their potential because they did not have the opportunity. So we are leveling the ground. Fofang believes teaching girls about technology can help break the cycle of poverty. In 2009, she started her own school specializing in STEM subjects. The Technological Academy now has 800 pupils. Nearly one in three girls in Cameroon are married by 18. And this often means they drop out of full-time education. Studies suggest that educating girls has a broader societal benefit that goes well beyond the individual child affecting factors including infant mortality, population growth, and family health. We've all been confronted with situations in which we just don't know what to do. Well, in the near future, you will perhaps have someone to help you decide, an artificially intelligent version of yourself. The Estonian company Sidekick has already created an AI version of US President Donald Trump. It's a bot that is looking to tweet and interact like the president would based on the analysis of his past interactions. Well, for more on this, I'm now joined by the Sidekick's founder and CEO, Johannes Tamkand. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Julie. How did you come up with the idea of creating this AI version of President Donald Trump? And tell us more about the machine learning algorithm you used. Trump is our first prototype, and using the same technology, soon we can scale it to end users, so everybody can create their own Sidekick or AI. And actually, the first human we wanted to create AR from was Elon Musk. But it was much easier, easier to gather all of Trump's public data, so we went with Trump. Now, we use neural networks, uh, the same technology that powers everything from Siri to self-driving cars. And uh, maybe you heard of Google Duplex, which is by Google. And we use very similar technology to Google Duplex um, only for, for text. And now you just said it, you want everyone to be able to have his or her personalized AI on their phone. How will it work exactly? Will it be a chatbot? So the first step is you're going to download your Psychic app. Uh, you, ch you can choose what kind of data you, you will create your AI from, um, meaning the smarter it is, um, the better decisions it can help you make. For example, you can choose to give it Facebook data and Google data, uh, your health data. And we also give you an opportunity that only you will have access to your data. So there is no cloud part in, in that uh, process. And you can speak with your AR by texting with it, with it. Uh, just as like you text with your friends in Messenger, Facebook Messenger, or in WhatsApp. And now you believe that this AI will help people take wiser decisions. How so? 
think of your psychic as a really good friend who knows you inside and outside. So it, it can help you make those decisions. And a lot of cases, it can even outsource your daily decision making. For example, let's say I order a lot of unhealthy food from Amazon, let's say pizzas, and I also have Fitbit or Apple Watch. So it, that shows when my health is going down. Now, my psyche can tell me that, you know, Johannes, don't eat that food, something more healthier. So every day we make up to 35,000 decisions, uh, most of which are manual and hard to make and uh, rep repetitive. So your psyche helps you, helps you make those decisions, outsource those decisions. And the reason why Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs wore the same outfit every day was so they could minimize the trivial decisions and f focus on the bigger ones. So meaning you will have actually more time for yourself and it will simplify your life. Johannes Tamkand, the CEO and founder of Sidekick, thank you so much for that. And it's time to welcome our in-house expert, Dan and Jay Cattlecar. It seems like every product hitting the market right now has AI in it, starting with Facebook. That's right, Julia. Facebook recently launched two products, Portal and Portal Plus, each of which is equipped with a front-facing AI-powered 12 megapixel camera. Now, it does two key functions. First of all, it uh, follows action. So what it means is that it follows every user as he or she moves. So that ensures that the user does not have to be confined to one place while uh, doing a video chat. He or she can move around and the camera will always keep that user in frame. And as more people enter a room, for example, uh, the AI also helps the camera to widen and ensure that all those people stay in a frame. So these are the two key features that uh, the artificial intelligence system in these uh, two devices. And now Facebook just released this as they're still grappling with uh, their data breach scandal. Is it such a good idea to put another camera in people's living room? Well, Facebook has tried to address these concerns uh, with uh, some unique uh, features. Like, for example, uh, these two devices, they come with a cover. So if you want to block the camera, you can physically put the cover on it. Uh, secondly, you can also disable the camera and the microphone. Uh, the other important aspect is that this uh, artificial intelligence system is uh, local. There, It's not on the servers. So whatever stays uh, in the camera, it's, it's there, it's localized. Um, then the third part is that all these uh, video conversations, they are encrypted. And Facebook also says that it doesn't listen to or it doesn't record or store these conversations. And the last part is that it also doesn't use facial recognition technology. Another uh, AI-powered uh, device is Google's Pixel 3 phone. That's right. I have one Pixel 3 phone uh, in my hand. So it has a very unique feature called Top Shot. And that AI power is in the camera, uh, you can see here. Uh, so what it does is that it ensures that every time you click a picture, it's a perfect shot. This is done because it captures frames before and after you press the shutter button. And it collects all that information and then it analyzes it and it merges these frames and it comes up with the best picture. So that's uh, something uh, that AI does in this phone. Thank you, Dan. We're going to move on now to test 24. And Dan and Jay Cattlecar here has selected a couple of devices that allow us to personalize our lighting experience. That's right, Julia. I'm going to talk about this object later, but first I'm going to test the smart panels that allow you to customize your lighting experience. So as you can see, this is, uh, it's trying, each panel is triangular in shape. Uh, they all have LEDs. There are three LED sources in each panel. And it's interesting because the triangle, the triangle shape allows you to customize different designs in, more, in a more creative manner. You can stick these panels uh, onto your walls, or you can also use it uh, in, say, if you want to party. And the most interesting aspect is that for me, because I, I play a lot of computer games and video games, right. So for me, it's great because I can use it uh, with my gaming console because it has a voice activation uh, feature. So here, the moment I press this button, you can see that the panels start reacting to my voice. Uh, if we could lower the lights, you'll be able to see it in a much better, in a much more pronounced manner. Now, there is a dedicated application uh, to, these, uh, to these panels using which you can control the light, you can customize colors, there are multiple colors. And it has uh, different applications, not just at home, but you can also have a great party using these panels. Uh, the second object, it's not really a gadget, but an object, a very 
high-end decorative object because right. it costs more than 700 euros. Right, and the shape is, is impressive. Yeah, uh, it's called luminaire, luminaire Dodd. The Dodd stands for dodecahedron, which means it's a geometric object with uh, 12 sides. And now this can be dismantled piece by piece. Right. So each piece is a pentagon, as you can see, and there's a color inside. So you can customize, you can have different colors in it, and you can also put the same panel on the outside. Right. The reason why it's so easy to assemble and disassemble is because each panel comes with a magnet. And the, the speciality about the panels itself is that they are made of wood, right. but the wood that is uh, not used or that is left over, say, by carpenters or in different industries. So there's no uh, addition to the environment, or there's no burden on the environment when they are... Right when they did this uh, particular object. Dan and Jay Cattlecar, thank you so much for that. That brings us to the end of this week's edition of Tech 24, but you can watch it on our website, france24.com. See you next time.